a new repository is being trending on GitHub these days with the name of Phase Fusion. It has around 2.9k stars. It is similar to Roop, so after all, it is going to swap the target face inside the source video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install it, run it on your laptop locally. It has a better UI in my opinion when we compare it with Roop. Anyways, we'll not get into that comparison part. Let's see how to run it, how to install it on your own machine. It's pretty simple, so it will not be a very long video. So let's start the video. First of all, click on the code, copy the link, open your terminal. Now, if you're on Windows, you have to open command prompt. So just search for it or maybe just search for terminal and it will going to open up. Now you should have git installed on your computer in order to git clone otherwise you can download the zip and extract it wherever you want to install it. So in my case I'm going to use git to download the code so just navigate to the directory wherever you want to install it. So I'm just going to install in dfake and for downloading the code you have to say git clone paste the link over here otherwise you can just directly download the zip from here and extract it to the location wherever you want to. Once all is completed, you can ls and you should see face fusion over here. So we'll just change the directory to face fusion. I'm going to clear my screen. And now in face fusion, you should have some files over here. The one we are interested in obviously run.py. Also, I'll be following their official documentation for installation. In case you feel lost in the video, you can go down inside this installation, click on the basic link and it is going to take you over here. Choose whatever operating system you have. Uh, I guess pretty much the process should be the same. So I'm going to choose macOS and it is pretty much the same. You should have Python installed, you should have pip installed and like all of that. Anyways, let's get back to our installation part over here. Now you have to install your requirements. So for that you can say pip install dash r requirements dot txt and hit enter. Now again it is going to take uh, a lot of time depending if you have already if you don't have already installed all these packages. So I'll just keep it running. So the, all the requirements are installed. I'm going to clear my screen. Now in order to run, you just have to say python run.py and it should run. Now, of course, it is going to download one model, which is, I guess, ins wrapper underscore 128.onnx. So it is around 529 megabyte. It is going to open a new UI, Gradio based UI. And you can hold on control key and click on the link and open the link. Or either way, you can copy the link from here and paste it in your favorite browser. Now from here you have some options. First one is face swapper. So if you want to swap the face or not, then you have frame enhancer, face enhancer. Uh, the name itself is clear, I guess. Now over here, we don't have any GPU version installed. So obviously we are seeing over here CPU only. And execution thread and the temporary frame format and keep FPS, keep temporary, skip audio. So you can just choose the option from here. The output video will be shown over here and that's all. Now let's try to run some example. One thing before we get into working on example, let's just see how you can install it for your GPU. In case the things will going to be pretty much fast. In case you don't have GPU, you can skip this part. So we'll get back to our repository over here and click on the acceleration and it should give us instruction how to do install for our GPU. So if you have CUDA or NVIDIA graphic card, you can install the ONNX runtime GPU. In my case, I have my Apple Silicon. So I'm going to run these commands. First, I'm going to uninstall my ONNX normal runtime. Then I will install Silicon runtime. So it's that simple. Other cases, you can just follow the steps over here. Now, in order to stop the UI from running, you can press Ctrl plus C and we are here in our again normal command line interface. Now for installing the GPU, I'm going to paste both of these commands and run them. For an installation, yes. Now it is going to install the ONX runtime for silicon. That's it, it's this simple. Now again, we are going to run our UI python run.py and hit enter. And again, this time let's just copy paste the link over here. And you can see we have now execution provider as core ML as well. Now let's go through some example face swapping and then we will end the video. So I'm going to use this face and this video. I'll leave the link to these resources in down description. Anyways, getting back to our main UI, let me just zoom up a little bit. For the source, you need to select the image, the face which you want to swap with. So this is the image I'm going to work with and then you need a video as the target. So the target will be this particular video over here. Now for the execution provider, I'm going to use Core ML for faster of course and let it process this thing over here, the preview section over here. Now in this particular section, you are going to get the list of all the faces in the video. So for now we have only one face. So uh, this is the preview. This was the original and this face 
is replaced to over here and you can see over here okay now this is exactly uh, i guess this is for the preview if you are happy with it you can click on start or otherwise you can make some changes like add frame enhancer or face enhancer i'm not going to do that right now but you can try it out so let's just click on start to make the process start now in your terminal you will going to see the process start we have 301 frames to work with and four frames are processed if you don't want this blurred face over here you can try face enhancer this is going to add the detail to the face okay, so here we got the problem while the execution uh, was in at about 60 percent it stopped with the error luckily this documentation page over here has the troubleshooting section over here and uh, for mac os or maybe i guess this should be for everyone if you get leaked sema 4 object and you can see the error says they put uh, there appear to be one leaked sema 4 so for the resolution of that so it says that try to lower the execution thread count to one and increase it slowly but in our case it was already one so uh, i guess uh, let's just try to rerun it, rerun it one more time so the error we were getting earlier like related to sema 4 that was solved actually i guess there is something wrong with uh, when we select the core ml as an exec execution provider the ram just seems to be crazy it consumes about 25 gigabyte of memory like swap is used but i don't know whatever the problem with it maybe i can figure out something later on but for now this is it uh, you can run it on cpu maybe CUDA would be fine or maybe you can try on your own machine with core ml anyways uh, if you select cpu as the execution provider and start and here we are having our final results and you can download the results by clicking on this download button and you should have the results downloaded I'm going to view the results over here. Let's see. Okay, let's compare the results side by side. All right, so this one is the real one and this one is the defect one by applying this particular image. Let's play this video and this video. So deepfake was applied on this particular video and the source image was this particular image. Anyways, this is it for this video. You can try face enhancer in case you see that the face is blurred over here. The face will going to get fine. If you use face enhancer, frame enhancer for scaling up the video quality, you can try it on. There are uh, some other features as well. You can try to preview whatever frame you want to preview. Anyways, this is it for this video. If you have any doubts, queries regarding that, you can consider asking them in down comment section. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.